Well, tonight, all new at 730, we're seeing age is merely a number demonstrated by a North Carolina veteran still chasing his passion. Our John Carter introduces us to a 91 year old former Navy captain who still takes to the skies. I haven't lived my whole life yet. <laughs> Sid Tolchin so far. <laughs> is a 91-year-old veteran who says life is just getting started. So this is a single-seat aircraft called an Aerolite. Mr. Tolchin served in the Navy for 35 years, joining just out of medical school. They told me I had to give him back five years, and I ended up giving him 35 years, <laughs> and it was wonderful. I wish I could still be in it, but the Navy took me to all over the world. Mr. Tolchin and his wife moved to Hendersonville just two years ago. The kit is built in D-Land, Florida. With a love for flying that began long ago. In World War II, I was a paper boy, and uh, I was selling defense stamps and bonds as a paper boy, and I won a prize, and it was in a Piper Cub, and uh, that Piper Cub got me hooked. It weighs 264 pounds. Mr. Tolchin says that just those few minutes took him on a 70-year journey of flying. It, it flies uh, perhaps at uh, 55 miles an hour, 65 max. Uh, I flew all kinds of airplanes in all kinds of airplanes in the military. I flew in jets and in DC-3s, R-4Ds, C-141s. Then in Vietnam, I flew in helicopters and in C-141's there, and it was a exciting time. He's now changed his pace a bit. This is sort of like a motorcycle in the air. Flying an Aerolite plane that he says isn't recognized as an aircraft by the FAA. People who don't have a license can still fly this. It has a two-cycle engine on it, which is a 41 horsepower. He says this wasn't his decision. When I hit 88, they decided not to insure me anymore. While he made the decision to leave flying in the past, he soon realized that he wasn't ready to give it up. Because it's like my psychiatrist, I, it's my therapy. So after two years, I found this one. That's where the Aerolite was born just a little over a year ago. Took it apart and brought it here and all the guys here at Johnson Field and uh, Hendersonville Airport helped me put it together again and it's flying. Basically, it's an airplane like any other airplane. Once you get up in the air, it's just freedom. The feeling of freedom, the feeling that uh, you're in charge of your life now, fully in charge. He says it's important to not let the old man in. You don't stop flying because you get old. You get old because you stop flying. <laughs> so. For Mr. Tolchin, it's especially surreal to be flying here in the mountains. And so it's a community, it's a brotherhood, and very much like the military, which I miss very much. For On Your Side Tonight, I'm John Carter. How many of you right now are saying, how is he 91 years old? He looks amazing. Uh, now, increasing your chances of living to 90 could boil down to your behaviors, not just genetics. A research study led by Boston University into longevity further emphasizes common but essential tips to a healthier life that could increase your chances to living beyond 90 years old. Manage your stress levels, get good sleep, eat healthy, consider a Mediterranean or keto type diet that relies on whole foods, healthy fats, and lots of fruits and vegetables. Also avoid excessive red meat if you can, refrain from smoking, and then finally exercise often. Also consider some strength training twice a week and cardio exercise three times a week even if it's just for 10 minutes a day. Coming up.